you're making this statement, you're stating it as a fact in front of all these people. There must be a reason, there must be something that you encountered that, that led you to this rather radical conclusion that to save a child's life, you have to chemically castrate them. Not Lupron, no, me, sir. Okay, well, that is what you just said. The drugs we give to kids for, for puberty blockers, so-called puberty blockers, originally are, are cancer drugs used to treat prostate cancer. They're also used to chemically castrate sex offenders and child rapists. Now we give them to physically healthy kids. You're saying that we need to do that or they will die. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video, guys. Today, we're going to be checking out Matt's Watch Destroys Unprepared Transgender. Hey, this is going to be our first time. She's a transgender activist. So I would love to check this out for you guys. Let's get into this video. Transgender people tend to have the brain structure that confirms their identity that they identify with. And you can look that up. That, that's I, a fact. I will look that up. Yeah, it's a fact. I will it's look that up. I won't find it. <laughs> yeah. It's not a fact. Oh. It's not a fact. Should we all pull out Google really quick and look? Okay. Um, so you're saying a trans man has the brain of a woman? No. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all is good wherever you are. In this video, we're going to watch Matt Walsh debate a trans activist on suicidality in the trans community. So you've talked a lot about the mental illness and depressed and anxious population in the trans community, but you don't talk about the happy people in the trans community and how these preventative measures of, let's say, like puberty and the surgeries that go for gender affirmation and how these are life-changing and life-saving. I know so, so many people... How do you know? Oh, okay. One second, if I can finish my conversation. Um, <laughs> okay. Many people in my life have had these interventions made and it's saved their lives. I can list dozens of people in my life. So what do you have to say for... You can, do you can list dozens of people who had surgeries and drugs as children and would be dead today if they hadn't? I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Dozens of people who have had interventions, including gender-affirming, let's say therapies, um, yes, hormones, surgeries, that have made their lives better. I'm not saying it didn't force them to commit suicide, but it made their lives better. What do you have to say for the happy trans community? Uh, I guess I would, I would throw back at you first uh, because the burden of proof is on you on this one. And I'll explain why the burden of proof is on you. Because as I went over in the talk, um, for thousands of years, human beings existed and there was no such thing as trying to medically transition people into another gender. And as far as we know, there was no suicide epidemic because of it. And then in the last few years, people like yourself have come along and said, we desperately need to do this or people will be in despair and they might kill themselves. So you are making a claim that contradicts common sense, science, biology, also the entire experience of the whole history of the human race. And so what that means is that the burden of proof is on you to support it. And so I'm going to ask you, you said that people need this stuff so they can live happier lives and potentially to, it'd be life-saving, you said even. Aside from your anecdotes of your friends who told you so, how do you know that? Okay, so um, thinking back to when I was 16 in an anatomy class, when I learned that um, transgender people tend to have the brain structure that confirms their identity that they identify with. And you can look that up. That, that's I, a fact. I will look that up. Yeah, it's a fact. I will it's look that up. I won't find it. <laughs> yeah. It's not a fact. Oh. It's not a fact. Should we all pull out Google really quick and look? Okay. Um, so you're saying a trans man has the brain of a woman? No. This girl whipped out the phone and said, yeah, it's a quick Google search and searched absolutely nothing. And you can see nobody's having any of this BS. Matt's not having it. This fellow's not having it. This older lady who's you know from a generation where they had real issues going on. These people aren't having it back here. This girl's just laughing it off. Listen, you've just said something absolutely ridiculous that a man could be born with a woman's brain. And now people are looking at you funny and calling you out on your BS. And listen, ladies, gentlemen, I am no fashionista by any means. I'm not here to shame anybody on, on fashion. But I will say one thing, same if I went to a business interview, if I was going to an event where I had the complete opposing view of the person I was going to try to debate, ask a question to, and I knew that said person was very knowledgeable 
about the topic at hand. And I also knew that this event would be filmed. I would not show up with a tie-dyed dolphin shirt. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying that a trans man who identifies as a man will tend to have similar brain structure that a cis man would. And where did you get that from? Look it up. I, it's okay. literally, I, I'm telling you, I learned it from my anatomy class when I was I, 16. And I looked up the fact before I walked up here because I knew that you'd ask. Okay. Um, that's not true, but it also doesn't answer the question. So let, let's try to stay focused on one false claim at a time if we can, because we, we might get bogged down. Okay. So you said, you actually started by saying that blocking puberty, which is chemical castration of a child. Just, is, just one example, yeah. Yeah, is life-saving. It can be. How do you know? Because there are children who have been suicidal that have had these interventions made. What children? How do you, how do you know? And how, how many children have had that done me personally, and then I are still suicidal? Children. Uh, me personally, I haven't met enough trans children to answer that question. You, okay. But I know you that the making, research exists. You're making this statement. You're stating it as a fact in front of all these people. There must be a reason. There must be something that you encountered that, that led you to this rather radical conclusion that to save a child's life, you have to chemically castrate them. Not Lupron, child. No, sir. Okay. Well, that is what you just said. The drugs we give to kids for, for puberty blockers, so-called puberty blockers, originally are, are cancer drugs used to treat prostate cancer. They're also used to chemically castrate sex offenders and child rapists. Now we give them to physically healthy kids. You're saying that we need to do that or they will die. And so one last time I'm going to ask you, what evidence do you have of that remarkable claim? I don't think I claimed that every child would benefit from that. Well, no, I didn't uh, say you did. And, okay. You, you well, said you, the no, puberty you blockers did. are you, did. Did. Um, you said puberty blockers are life saving. What evidence I said do you they, have for that? They can be. Um, so, the evidence you know? is the encounters with patients who have had these procedures done, and it has saved their. I don't want to say it saved their lives, but it has made their lives better. I can't confirm How? whether or not they're alive right this second, but there are children that it has helped. So what do you have to say for the happy trans community who has benefited from these procedures? That's my question I guess what I have you. to say is that your entire question is built on a whole stack of false premises that you, that you can't begin to even remotely defend. So uh, I, it's, it is a, it's a faulty question from the start. I, I reject your premise. I, I absolutely reject that there are any kids who need to be chemically castrated in order to be happy. Okay, 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 let's... I reject that. I feel like she was confused, number one. Number two, you don't, you don't come to a war front because right there, the interview right there, the debate right there, is a war front with bare knowledge about what you're talking about. You know Matt is a very smart man. He's very knowledgeable about all this. LGBTQ, all this transgender stuff, all this hormones, the soldiers, he, you know he's very knowledgeable. You come there with bare knowledge about your anatomy class you had when you were assistant, and you say you look up the facts in Google that you didn't with shows. Number one. Number two, you, you want Matt to accept the fact that your own knowledge about LGBT, about transgender children, some of them are happy. Whereas you said your own statements, you have never seen any transgender child who was happy about the surgery. But like, Jeez, what are you saying? Like, I am a bit confused, like Matt. I'm confused. How? Like, prove to us, give us someone, just one, who has taken some drug, some hormone drug that is meant for cancer patients, and is happy that he has taken that, and life, a life altering decision he, has, he or she has done, he's happy about that scenario. Just name one child. That's what Matt was saying. Name one child. Just give us one example. Even if it's one, we are good. But you are, you are contradicting yourself. You are asking a question and you are answering yourself in a way that is... Jeez. It's, it's, she was very confused. I, I couldn't just watch. <laughs> I couldn't just watch again. I was like, what the hell are you saying? What are you saying? Like, you're not pointing your fat right. You're not giving us enough evidence to be like to back up your facts that we say, okay, you are trying to say the truth. This lady right here, she has a point.
No, there is no fight. You are, you are a transgender activist. You are standing for transgender. You are fighting for them. And you have no fight. You have no, you have no fight in what you are fighting for. You say you know a dozen people. You could not even bring out one of them out, number one. Number two, you said some children are happy being passing through the surgery, also taking the hormone, but you have never witnessed a child. So how do you also believe that what you're saying is true? For me, there was no question they asked. Neither should anyone answer this question because she's right there. She was confused. And being knowledgeable as Matt is, he knows she was trying to lay him into a trap. She also made a statement that a trans man has a brain of a woman. It's, and she said it's a fact. Like, is that, is that possible? It is not possible. There is no way that is ever it. There's no way that this, this is not possible. A trans man has a brain of... Damn. She have no clue about biology. <laughs> but she's making facts for researches. I don't know. Whenever she's getting her research from, I feel like it's, it's a lie. The place she's getting her research from, I think they're just trying to brainwash her. For me, that is what I feel like. And that's what I know. Because there is no way a trans man has the brain of a woman. It's not possible. We all know it's not possible. It's 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 absurd. Um I love how Matt answered her. Calmly, uh not rudely. And also I love the lady. She was cool, calm, and precise, but she was confused. Bro. The entire video was Okay, so it's not eligible because I'll try to learn something from inside. Um, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch in my bed. I got scales all